The WWU Campus Equity and Inclusion Training Series is a university-wide initiative. Staff and faculty from across the university design, lead, and attend these workshops. And one recent workshop invited Western staff, faculty, and students to walk a mile in another's footsteps by picking up a spray can. By picking up a spray can. Oh. By picking up a spray can. Chair of the President's Task Force of Diversity right here at Western. Today is the kickoff for the Campus Equity and Inclusion Forum. Nick, thanks so much for being here. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, we had Michael Benitez Jr. in today. He was our keynote speaker, and he really got things off to a solid start. Uh, talked to us a lot about intercultural communication. Now we're out here putting putting it to work through, uh, through spray paint and graffiti. Yeah, so we got all sorts of folks here. You got uh, Sean Cass. Is that his name? Is that correct? Sean Cass so, is an alum. Yeah, Sean Cass is an alum from Western, class of 2008, Huxley grad. He's working with uh, anybody here at Western who actually wants to come in here and uh, voice a little bit of their own self via spray paint. Yeah, so um, I don't know if, if you guys are aware of what the, what the next activity is. It's, it's basically, yeah, everyone's going to get a chance to uh, grab a spray can and get a feel for uh, painting on a wall with a spray paint can. Um, has anyone done this before? Okay. Sean, what are we doing back here? We've got all sorts of graffiti. We've got cops around here, but nobody's getting arrested. <laughs> Why are you on campus? Um, I'm here today to um, help facilitate this little free wall of expression, this little graffiti wall. We're giving a bunch of people um, a chance to try to play with spray paint for the first time. It's, it's one of those mediums that's really difficult, so it's kind of funny and really amusing to see uh, people trying to, you know, taking a hand at doing some graffiti art for the first time. Doing good, no drips. So, uh, whenever you do graffiti art, you go from the background forward oh, okay. because you know you would want to do the white yeah. and then do the yellow on top of it because it's going to be a lot harder to put the, the white, white in between in. all those lines. Just kind of let it be. But let's square, see where you get. Square yeah. the white. And, and you know it's the first time. You doing good. Another drip. So we brought you here for the Campus Equity and Inclusion Forum on campus here at Western. Why is graffiti art so important to you? Well, um, it's a, it's a uncontrolled form of expression. I think uh, a lot of people don't have outlets to be able to express themselves and a lot of times that results in people expressing themselves in illegal ways but um, you know graffiti art is, in itself is just a form of expression which could be used in a negative way or a positive way and I'm definitely proud to be able to take something I love and and really focus on the positive aspect of it and uh, you know just it's fun it's colorful it brings a lot of life to the community and just a lot of expression that from people that have a have a hard time finding ways to really be artistic and be creative and and share their share their creativity with with the community sure well you're real talented graffiti artist really proud to have you back on campus proud to have you as an alum of western and glad to have you back thank you very much it just goes to show that like you don't have to be one gender or the other to support. Specifically for lifting, um, I don't really feel like it's something that is encouraged for girls. That's just a limit in itself, really. Um, I don't feel like maybe there's enough educated lifters to spread the word. The